welcome to the circle of Hecate on Lady Mars. So um, if you've been watching my previous videos you would realize that I've been on holiday and I'm back now and uh, I'm just going to go through some of the things that I purchased while I was away uh, and um, hopefully you'll enjoy them. And the first one is uh, where I got a little, it's a little metaphysical store I found in Penrith which is just below the Blue Mountains and um, it was the place that we got our hire car from and we as we um, drove up to the Blue Mountains. So there's a little metaphysical store, uh, it, the name escapes me but I will put the information below for you. And I got this nice crystal and the reason I got this crystal, one, it, it kind of waved at me and said hi, but two, it's in the configuration of the, the three there's a few more but the main ones are these three and it reminded me of the the um, the rock formation in the Blue Mountains called the Three Sisters so I thought that that was quite a, a timely purchase and uh, and a nice way to commemorate me being in the Blue Mountains. I uh, went to a store I think it was in Blackheath and again the name of it escapes me it was the style of the store was more um, let's say kind of hippie I would say a hippie vibe to it but um, that's that's fine um, I'll put the information down below I'll find the, the name of it but again you, know, you never you never pass up the opportunity to get some a bit of honey amber which is just nice a bit of resin and some dragon's blood chunks so they've got some, some good chunks there to, to play with and while I was there, I got these these candles. Now these, oh, let's see if we can take one out. It never happens the way you want it, does it? So these are nice chakra candles. So it's starting starting at the what you would say would be your base chakra and going through to your higher chakra. So I thought these were these were nice, that good size. Just see my hand, two hands together. So they're a good size, and you're you're burning them. So you're burning them, thinking about your your base chakra and going going as you as you burn down, getting into those higher spiritual realms. So you're going from from say um, base consciousness or uh, consciousness which is more onto the physical, and as you go, you are burning it to um, awaken those spiritual senses. So I thought that was quite a nice little um, little candle, and you could do it where that you would burn it down just to one colour, um, and then um, and concentrate on that chakra, and then you would burn it down to the next colour, and then the next colour. So I thought that that was that was really quite nice, and quite cheap too. So that's what you want. I also got this little little. Um, Say it was a little statue figurine of the god Ganesh, remover of obstacles. So uh, it's always nice to have someone that can remove your obstacles for you. So, um, what else? And you're even looking at the back, it's got all the detail on the work. It's actually quite heavy, it's uh, cast, it's cast in some kind of iron. And um, it is really quite nice. Let me get a little bit closer. Moving along, um, a couple of other little things that I got. This is, I don't know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't actually call it witchy to start off with, um, but um, I got this because I thought I could use that in witchcraft and uh, it's called De Bon, uh, Beyond Insanity Hot Sauce and its Scoville rating is um, quite high um, can't see it right now. The score read it rating is quite high. So it says warning this sauce is extremely hot. Keep out of reach of children. Consume um, one drop at a time with extreme caution. Now I 
not really into heat spice. I like spice for for making something um, taste nice, but I don't want to have my burn, my burn, my my tongue burnt off. The reason that I got this was it can be used in magic, can be used in witchcraft, and uh, so the the hot sauce can be used to heat up your spell, whether it is to get rid of someone. So uh, let's say it's in a um, a way of, of um, like a hot foot powder where you would um, heat up the area to make it uncomfortable for that person to, to be in that space. Um, or you could use it um, in a way of some kind of sexual heat, um, or it's just used to heat your spell up, to, to get it to, to work uh, a little bit faster, a little bit more, a bit, 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 more, um, a bit more oomph into your spell. So it's all purpose and it's in a small little jar and you know, when you're doing your spells, you want to make sure that you're, you know, da bomb. So, oh, that's a bit bad, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, make sure I don't do any of those bad jokes. So the next thing is um, something a little, little fun. So I've got this here. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe the box might be a little bit easier. It's, it's uh, T-bones. Uh, so you put your just open it up. so you put your tea in there and then you put it put the head on and then jingle it around and you've got your bones on the top. So I thought that was really fun. Now I don't drink a lot of tea, but um, when I see something I like I I usually just grab it because it's it's fun and uh, and um, the odd occasion that I do have tea, I will I will use it. Uh, but it's quite fun, and it has that skull and crossbones um, Halloween kind of theme about it. I got now, this from a little market stall in in uh, Sydney in um, in the Rocks. They have a a markets. They have a markets. They have the markets in Sydney. They have uh, markets in the rocks on the weekend, and so I found these little Shiva eyes, and I I, I got them because I thought they were really very nice, and uh, the spiral just uh, again as they say called to me. So they were really nice. And a couple of other little things from the markets is, but I'm not sure whether you can see how it, yes, there we go, how it shines and shimmers. Again, it's quite a magical little rock and it's almost as if there's a fire underneath and you're looking, you're looking at, um, looking at it through, um, through glass and you can see the fire shimmering underneath and so that's that's a lovely lovely stone again you can see the, the change in color which I find fascinating I could probably sit there and watch that for hours <laughs> also these we've got some candles and this is this one here now this is dark and dense black candle which I like because it's very hard to get a candle that is fully the the color. It's usually a white candle that's been dipped in black. Uh, now this is from Moon Tree. And I think they've got a store online. Again, I'll um, link down below. Now this has got 25% natural beeswax in it, and it's it's quite nice. You can smell that beeswax. It's unscented um, and it is it is a black black pillar candle. So again, witches can't get enough of these black candles. I'm telling you. Uh, the same place again. I've got these these long candles, and again, these are fully. Don't make a liar out of me. These are the actual thing. So if you you start 
picking away at the bottom, you'll find out pretty quickly if a candle is just dipped, if it's just a white candle that's been dipped, or whether it is through and through uh, the colour that it is. So this one's here is a nice black one, and we've got um, a red one as well. Well, I've got quite a few, but that's all I'm showing at the moment. Um, so it's nice to, to be able to to use these um, dark colours and be and know that when you're using a black candle that it is totally black. It doesn't mean that when it burns down it ends up being a grey candle. Or if you if you've got a red candle that's actually a white candle that has been dipped, again you don't want to have that red candle which you want that extra fiery energy, especially if you're say you're doing a a, a a ritual where you want to spice up your sex life and uh, then it ends up being a pink candle where the two of you just sit in bed and read. Um, what else? Something a bit fun. I've got this one here. See if I can um, show you what we've got here. What a close up. Down there. It is a dragonfly little votive candle holder and on the top it's got this little thing and you can see the little dragonflies. Let's see if I can get up close and show you a dragonfly. There we go. And I love dragonflies. Dragonflies Frogs um, and uh, and Yoda, I think, are my uh, my go-to things. So um, now, what happens here is we've got the little votive candle that you light, and the heat from that votive candle actually starts to spin this little device. So what I'll do is later on I will I'll actually light it and video it and show you show you what it looks like in full swing. But I thought this was really quite beautiful, and uh, the fact that it's got dragonflies on it was it just it sealed the deal. Okay, what else? Speaking of Yoda, I will invariably get the odd random thing that doesn't seem quite witchy but if you've, if you've listened to Yoda's teachings um, it was quite quite witchy but I got um, I got this little guy here and it's a pen but uh, he is uh, quite quite feisty Let's see if I can make him I've broken it here we go <laughs> Again, hours of fun. I've been watching, watching the, the shininess of the laborite and then uh, playing with Yoda for hours. It's the it's the little things that keep me amused. I think. <laughs> so a little bit of Yoda action. Yeah. I won't even try to to do the the voice. Um, I think you probably think I'm weird enough as it is now. So. Um, uh, Dusk, which is a, a store that I that there is in in Western Australia. I'm not sure if they are in other other capitals, but they are in Western Australia. Have some some Halloween witchy stuff. So this one here is some sugar. Excuse me, mini sugar um, sugar skulls, and they're a trio, and uh, I think that they are really quite nice. They've got nice bit of work in them. You can see all the detail on the side and they're just small little little candles which you can see be quite nice sitting, sitting on, a, on an altar somewhere. Um, so whether it's an ancestor altar or it's a, an altar for a specific deity, uh, they, uh, they look really really quite nice and even if you're like me sometimes I will buy certain uh, candles 
uh, because I like them but I'll never like them because I don't want to I don't want to spoil them so I don't know I might I might I might not um, with that so I got the, the small ones and I also got the large one Let me put back here so it's a large the large skull candle with a little candle at the top there and uh, yes I thought that, that was fabulous and that's going to have a nice nice pride of place um, again I'm not sure whether I will I will truly light this because I like I like how it looks I might just keep it for decoration and again with that in mind as it is that uh, there's only certain times that we can get lots of skulls this one here again from dusk they have quite a few nice things at dusk but again it's it's picking out what's good and what you can use and what is just um, yeah, generic um, generic candles and, and uh, things so this one here um, is actually uh, you put tea light in the bottom and the tea light will uh, will make the eyes glow and uh, certain things glow but again I thought that, that was really nice and uh, it'll be It'll be activated uh, come come Samhain. So I think that's about it. Yes. Thank you for for watching this far and uh, merry meet, merry part, and merry meet again. Blessed be. Then send that beautiful energy up into the heavens. It's another very powerful cleansing incense that's often used by witches is dragon's blood. Dragon's blood, when it goes onto the chart,